A friend says that she thinks it's sad that there are international days dedicated to women, and so on. She argues that it's sad that we, as a human race, had not moved on. There is still inequality. She regards all the awareness days, weeks, and months as sad, but I prefer to build on that sadness, the current situation, by having those days and weeks and months to fight on for equality. I have albinism and I'm partially sighted. What makes me sad is that even in my dreams, while sleeping, I struggle to navigate my way in everyday life. I'm not sure when it started. As a child and young adult, I just dreamt. Then it started with one dream. I dreamt how I had to bend down to be able to see the buttons in the lift and to pick the floor that I needed. From there on, my everyday struggles sneaked in and followed me into my dreams. I dream how I can't spot and find the people I'm supposed to meet, for example, in a restaurant. How I can't read the seat number on my boarding card. How I struggle to read the numbers on seats in a cinema or concert hall. How I lose sight of a friend in a crowd, although the distance is not that far. And the list goes on. Every day struggle, even while sleeping, in my dreams, and all that stress and uncertainty that come with that struggle. You may say, "What's the big deal? You can't see well when awake, and you dream that you can't see well. So what?" Okay, let's say a man works fifty to seventy hours a week to support his family. After a while, he dreams. That he works long hours, feels tired, and is not seeing much of his family. Doesn't the fact that he is dreaming about his real life means that that life has an overwhelming impact on him mentally and emotionally? Will there be a time when I no longer dream about text and numbers that are too small, and that I can't find my seat on a train? All the barriers that I face because I have albinism, and that I'm partially sighted. I can only hope. But for that to happen, those barriers need to be removed in the real world, and I can't do that by myself. That's one of the reasons why we need International Albinism Awareness Day. People with albinism stand out in most crowds. And we live with the pros and cons of that every day, but very often we also have limited eyesight, which may not be obvious. And 13 of June every year, we have the opportunity to share and to celebrate who we are and all that we are. And I say yes to that all day long. <laughs>